Hey there folks, I do have a UU battle for you today, but before I get into it, I just want to brag for a second. Look what I bought myself for Christmas. I really wanted a shiny Umbreon plush from somewhere, and I found a woman on Etsy who was willing to make it, and he's so cute. His name is Mick, after Mick on, on this team, who is like my favorite Pokemon ever, and has just done so well on every team I've put him on. And so now I have a little plush to cuddle as well. He's adorable. I'm linking to her Etsy page, or her Etsy shop page, in the description. Um, if you want your own Umbreon plush, you should probably check her out. Uh, yeah, she custom made it because she's done, um, regular ones before, but hadn't done shiny. Uh, anyway, my opponent today is Spark 22. Uh, he leads off with Zapdos, I lead off with Scarf Mineshell. I think he thought I was gonna go for Fake Out, um, not knowing I was Scarf. Unfortunately for him, I just go for the Stone Edge, and that is going to take out a Chandelure, and that sucks for my opponent. That was a big misplay on his part. And that is going to cost him, because now I can go for a high jump kicks with impunity. Um, obviously going to want to switch out against Flygon. Uh, and I go ahead and switch out into uh, Randy, my slow bro. Yeah, you notice my team is completely redone. Um, it just wasn't doing too well in its previous configuration, so I pretty much replaced everyone on the team, uh, except for Durant and uh, Mick. Uh, and even Zapdos is a new breed. So, yeah, and this... this team version does, uh, I would say, a lot better. It's still not great. Uh, I don't win. I probably lose as often as I win on Pokemon Showdown, but the UU ladder is tough. So I consider it, a, I consider it okay. So anyway, uh, he'd switched out into Azumarill and then realized what a stupid move that was, because if I burned him, he would have been screwed. And plus, I wall him for days. There's not anything he can do to me. Um, so now he goes out into Zapdos, which he should have done to begin with. Um, and because he didn't, now he's going to take some burn, uh, not burn damage, sc some uh, skull damage. He isn't going to get burned, that's okay. Anyway, I'm thinking he's just going to go into Thunderbolt, so I'm going to go ahead and send out uh, Neskadol, my clay doll, and I decide, do I want to try to set up rocks? Because he's got that Zatu, um, but if he just bounces them back, I can just spin him away. It's not like his Zatu can do anything to me. Um, but what the hell, I decide, just go for the Psychic, it's a safer move. Um, who knows, maybe he'll be crazy and send out uh, Heracross, that would've been awesome, but no he didn't. Um, gonna switch out here because if I can kill this Zatu, then that would be incredible. I'm not sure what set he's running for. Um, but he's gonna go ahead and U-turn out here, uh, just to scout out what I'm gonna do, that's fine. Um, uh, Lamash 2, so it's no, no longer Pazuzu, no longer reference to Futurama, now it's a reference to a reference to Futurama. Um, this is a speed tie right here, we're both, um, he's Jolly, I'm Timid, we're both max speed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a 31 speed IV, uh, but I'll tell you if I don't. Anyway, I go for the Hidden Power Ice. Um, I'm not sure whether it's hacks that I survived, but if not, then it's hacks that uh, it, that he won the speed tie, so whatever. Um, I take him out with Hidden Power Ice, and that is incredible. So now that Flygon is dead, and I survive on 1 HP, Aqua Jet is obvious. I decide I'm going to save him for later, because he's got no one on his team who's going to set up rocks. Uh, there's a chance I can wish pass um, later on and preserve my Zapdos. My Zapdos, by the way, has no recovery move because I wanted to run uh, four attacks. Uh, it's Thunderbolt, Heat Wave, Ice Beam, and then Volt Switch is the fourth, which is just great for preserving momentum. Um, but yeah, so anyway, he goes out into Zapdos again. Um, I just go for the Skull, racking up damage on him. I'm pretty happy. And, you know, I know that his, he's running a more offensive set too, so maybe he's not running Roost either. Um, although he... If, Roost is kind of needed on the Zapdos set, but, I mean, I, my team only works because I have the Wish Passer. Uh, he goes for the Roost here, so it shows me he does have Roost, but Umbreon walls in for days, so I don't particularly care. Um, I can just go for a Wish, maybe I will be ballsy enough to try to send out Zapdos, uh, or maybe not. Uh, he's going to go ahead and swap out into Heracross. So here, I'm going to actually just sacrifice my Wish because I want to see what he's going to lock himself into. Um, I go ahead and protect. Uh, yeah, so now I'm running Wish Protect instead of Curse. Uh, instead of Payback, I'm now running Foul Play on the set, which is so much fun. You have no idea. I really cannot wait to show you guys when I use uh, Foul Play. But anyway, um, Zapdos will back out. I'm going to go out into Durant. Um, uh, on the switch with the Heracross. I am going to do a double switch here because I'm not sure if he outspeeds. I don't... He shouldn't outspeed, actually. Durant is much faster. But I don't want to risk the Rock Slide missing and him carrying the Heat Wave. Plus, um, Durant is kind of frail. And Mick walls him for days. Mick is the safer... Switching out into Mick was the safer play. So, um, Mick, still the MVP of this team, um, even though the team has changed so much. I Because I wall this guy, I wall so much, and I can just wish stall him out, I can wish pass into someone else. 
Um, the world is my oyster. It really is. So here he's going to withdraw Zapdos. I think I stay in uh, just to get the health back with Wish. Uh, even though the switch was fairly obvious. Um, but yeah, gonna recover back up. Yeah, it's too bad I didn't go into Zapdos. It would've been a great situation for me. Although, I guess, well, the Stone Edge could've missed. I don't know. Anyway. Gonna protect here. Same deal. Just trying to scout out what move he's gonna lock himself into. Because I'm pretty sure he's Scarf. Um, when you, when, uh, your Heracross, when your opponent's Heracross is not running Guts, Flame Orb, or Guts, Toxic Orb, you can be pretty assured that they're Scarfed. Anyway, he goes with a Mega Horn. Uh, Lusitania resists that, but it actually does a fair chunk of damage. Um, I make a stupid play here, a stupid, stupid play. I was thinking he, of course he would switch out, but instead he stays in. I go for the Home Claws, and now I am boned, because another Home Cl uh, Her uh, yeah, another Mega Horn is going to kill me. But he misses! Oh my god. So the odds of that happening are 40%. I did that calc uh, three battles ago for Power Whip hitting three times in a row. Um, yeah, uh, that was a bit of hacks in my favor. And had he actually managed to KO me, um, it, would, it just would not have been a good thing. It really would not have been. Uh, I go ahead and sacrifice Durant here because of Moxie. It really wouldn't have helped. It really would have been bad for him. But anyway, I sack Durant um, basically as a mea culpa for the awful hacks. And he goes for the Aqua Jet here. I'm thinking Mind Shao can take that. And I'm hoping Mind Shao can take that. And Mind Shao takes that. Go for the high jump kick. Woo! High jump kick. Uh, it does a crap ton of damage. He survives on just a little, little bit. I'm um, gonna swap out here because obviously I can't take another Aqua Jet. Go out into Randy, my Slowbro. Um, he's gonna go for the Aqua Jet and gonna do Jack to me, and he's gonna be forced to switch out. So we've seen this before. He's gonna go out into Zapdos. I'm not gonna predict. I'm just gonna let him switch. Maybe I'll get a burn. That would be nice. Um, actually, I think I go for the T-Wave here because this thing is a bit less menacing when speed is the crapper, um, means that he can't, I don't know, I mean, it doesn't really help me or hurt me, it doesn't mean that I can, well, you know, it, it's, I don't know, I just went for the T-Wave, and I figured if he went on to Zatu, it's not like slow bro, mine's being slow. I'm thinking he doesn't have the hidden power ice here, so I go out into Claydol, I go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, and he says, well, actually, I do carry hidden power ice, so let's see how much damage it does, unfortunately, it's fully paralyzed. I doubt it would have KO'd. I run, uh, I'm actually a modest set, 252 um, special attack, but it's also 252 HP. And I just don't think he could have one hit KO'd me with a only 2x effective hidden power ice. Um, non stab, but maybe he could have. So at this point, I have rocks up. Azumarill is dead on arrival, and my opponent decides to resign because Mick walls his entire team, and. Uh, and that's that. So, great game, Flarp22. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Great job, Nick! You're still the MVP! Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.